Are you unknowingly putting your liver at risk? Discover the top seven shocking early signs of cirrhosis of the liver you can't afford to ignore. Liver cirrhosis is a serious condition that can lead to life-threatening complications. However, additional harm can be controlled or even avoided if detected early. In this video, we'll reveal seven early signs of liver cirrhosis that you need to be aware of to protect your health. Number one, fatigue and weakness. So, one of the earliest and most common signs of liver cirrhosis is persistent fatigue and weakness. If you frequently feel tired and lack energy, even after a good night's sleep, it could be an early indicator of liver issues. A study published in the Journal of Hepatology found that chronic fatigue is a common symptom in the early stages of liver cirrhosis due to metabolic disturbances. This highlights the impact of liver damage on the body's overall energy levels. The liver is vital for energy production and metabolism. When it's damaged, its ability to convert nutrients into energy diminishes. This reduction in efficiency means that your body struggles to produce the energy needed for daily activities, leaving you feeling constantly fatigued. Recognizing this early sign is important for managing and treating liver cirrhosis effectively. Take, for example, Maria, a 38-year-old nurse who began experiencing extreme tiredness that she initially attributed to her demanding job. Despite sleeping well and taking vitamins, her fatigue persisted. Concerned, she visited her healthcare provider and she was eventually diagnosed with early-stage liver cirrhosis. Maria's doctor explained that her chronic fatigue was due to her liver's compromised function, affecting her energy metabolism. By identifying this symptom early, Maria was able to receive timely treatment and adjust her lifestyle to manage her condition better. Number two, loss of appetite. Loss of appetite can be a critical warning sign of liver cirrhosis. As the liver becomes damaged, its ability to regulate appetite is affected, reducing the desire to eat. This can result in poor nutritional intake, worsening the overall health decline associated with liver disease. Patients with liver cirrhosis often experience a significant decrease in appetite due to impaired liver function and disrupted hormone regulation. Metabolic changes, gastrointestinal symptoms and toxin accumulation further contribute to reduced food intake. When the liver is unable to process nutrients effectively, it impacts the body's overall metabolism and hunger signals. Maintaining proper nutrition is essential for individuals with liver cirrhosis to prevent disease progression. Seeking dietary guidance from healthcare professionals is crucial. Recommendations include eating smaller, more frequent meals, consuming nutrient-dense snacks, and using supplements if necessary. These strategies can help manage appetite changes and support overall health in patients with liver cirrhosis. Number three, acids. Swelling of the abdomen and legs. Ascites, the accumulation of fluid leading to swelling in the legs and abdomen, is a common symptom of liver cirrhosis. According to research by Johns Hopkins Medicine, portal hypertension, which results from increased pressure in the liver's portal vein system, causes ascites. Liver dysfunction disrupts fluid balance regulation, causing fluid to leak into the abdominal cavity and visible swelling. Managing ascites involves dietary changes like reducing sodium intake and may include diuretic medications or procedures like paracentesis to drain excess fluid. Prompt treatment and close monitoring are essential in addressing ascites in liver cirrhosis, improving quality of life and reducing complications associated with advanced liver disease. Collaboration with healthcare providers is key to effective management and preserving liver function. Number four, jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes. 
Jaundice, characterized by the yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes, is a prominent and visible sign of liver cirrhosis. This distinctive yellow hue is attributed to the accumulation of bilirubin, a yellow pigment formed during the breakdown of red blood cells. The Mayo Clinic recognizes jaundice as a key symptom of liver dysfunction, often arising from the buildup of bilirubin in the body. In a healthy liver, bilirubin is processed and excreted in the bile. However, when the liver's processing capacity is compromised, bilirubin accumulates in the bloodstream, resulting in the noticeable yellow discoloration of the skin and eyes associated with jaundice. It's important to note that jaundice can sometimes be misinterpreted as a symptom of other conditions, such as pancreatic or gallbladder diseases, which can also lead to yellowing of the skin and eyes. Therefore, obtaining a proper diagnosis is critical. If you observe yellowing in your skin or eyes, seeking immediate medical attention is vital. Early detection and accurate diagnosis are crucial in managing the underlying causes of jaundice, such as liver cirrhosis, to prevent further liver damage. By addressing the root issue early on, appropriate interventions can be implemented to mitigate the progression of liver disease and improve overall health outcomes. If you're finding this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Share your thoughts and personal experiences in the comments below. Number five, itchy skin, pruritus. Chronic itching or pruritus can indicate underlying liver problems. Persistent itching is a visible indicator of internal issues that warrant attention and evaluation. A study in the British Journal of Dermatology found that pruritus is common in patients with liver cirrhosis due to bile salt accumulation, highlighting the link between liver health and itching. When the liver is impaired, its role in processing bile salts is disrupted. This disruption leads to the accumulation of bile salts in the bloodstream, which can cause intense itching. Pruritus associated with liver disease is often generalized and can be particularly distressing for patients. To alleviate itching related to liver issues, several strategies can be employed. Moisturizing the skin regularly can help reduce dryness and itchiness. Avoiding hot showers, which can dry out the skin further, is also beneficial. Additionally, those who experience pruritus due to liver cirrhosis can get effective relief and improve their quality of life by taking antihistamines or other prescribed medications. Number six, easy bruising and bleeding. Easy bruising and bleeding are common in liver cirrhosis due to impaired clotting factor production by the liver. Studies from the American Journal of Gastroenterology highlight the frequent occurrence of these complications in advanced liver disease. In liver cirrhosis, the liver's ability to synthesize clotting factors is compromised, leading to a higher risk of easy bruising and prolonged bleeding from minor injuries. Additionally, the liver's impaired detoxification function can result in the accumulation of toxins that interfere with clotting processes, exacerbating bleeding issues. Treatment for easy bruising and bleeding in liver cirrhosis focuses on managing the underlying liver disease, promoting clotting function, and minimizing bleeding risks. Healthcare providers may recommend avoiding certain medications that affect clotting, using compression bandages to control bleeding, and seeking prompt medical attention for significant bleeding. Regular monitoring is crucial to assess clotting function, manage symptoms, and prevent complications in individuals with liver disease. Number seven, nausea and vomiting. Persistent nausea and vomiting can be indicative of underlying liver issues like cirrhosis. According to studies from the European Journal of Gastroenterology and Hepatology, these symptoms are common among cirrhosis patients due to the digestive disturbances caused by liver dysfunction. When the liver is compromised, it affects the entire digestive system, leading to chronic feelings of nausea and frequent episodes of vomiting. Liver cirrhosis disrupts the normal digestive process in several ways. 
the liver's impaired function can lead to a buildup of toxins and metabolic waste in the bloodstream, which can trigger nausea. Additionally, cirrhosis often results in delayed gastric emptying, contributing to feelings of nausea and the urge to vomit. These symptoms can significantly impact a patient's quality of life and nutritional status, necessitating careful management. Managing persistent nausea and vomiting and liver cirrhosis involves several strategies. Dietary changes such as consuming easily digestible foods and eating smaller, more frequent meals can help. Staying hydrated and avoiding certain foods and beverages is crucial. Healthcare providers may prescribe anti-nausea drugs or proton pump inhibitors. Consulting a healthcare provider for a personalized treatment plan is essential to managing these symptoms effectively. Check out the video on the screen for more health improvement tips.